drove the Empire back, but not without sustaining heavy casualties ourselves. I know. We never thought the commander of the entire Imperial force would be there. Not just the commander. Maximilian had that woman with him. Yes. Yes, he fucking did, didn't he? What was she? I can't believe she's- She's here. not. She's an abomination. In her hands, born Cobalt Lance and Shield. Therewith to strike down all man's arrows. What? One account of the Valkyrie describes them in those terms. You can't mean that she... But they existed thousands of years ago. If they'd survived, we'd know. I'm not saying I'd buy all the legends either. I realize that it sounds a little crazy. When what we saw out there could only have been the Valkyria of legend. I know. Chapter 8. The Woodland Snare. <sighs> Having been driven back, the Empire retreated from Barius, and Squad 7 began its return to the capital of Randgris. I'm worried, boss. The scouts were due back a long time ago. I haven't heard a thing. Welkin, we should look. The enemy could be closer than we think. Right. Huh? Ah! Oh, fuck. Well, they certainly were closer than we thought. If you get hurt. Oh yeah, because that's all the fucking Marvel. matters. We've gotta move our butts now. Two more minutes and we'll be dead. Damn. No choice. We're outnumbered. Everybody take cover. Come on, Isara. Now. Right. Where the fuck did Alicia and Welks end up? separated when that blast threw us down here. Oh. Alicia, Apparently it threw us pretty fucking far, because the Imperials didn't seem to notice. It's just a matter of time until they spot us here. We should move as soon as we can. Are you hurt anywhere? Do you think you can walk? We got hit by a tank shell. I think I'm fine. Ah, scratch that. I think my ankle sprained, actually. Oh, no. I got hit by a fucking mortar strike and my ankle hurts. But I should be okay. Hector it's and Marina are fucking dead, out. Alicia. Think about it. Sorry, I know it hurts. But you've got to tough it out for now. You've been shot in the head before. You can handle it. Great. Now, let's try to sneak out of this mess before we're spotted. Mm, so we're about to have one of those types of missions, eh? Where it's like, probably just gonna be those two. Fair enough. Let's check out some upgrades first. My name is Cesare Regard, and I'll handle things my own way, thank you. No. No, you will not be doing this. This is the military. We have these things called rules and this thing called a chain of command. You are already far inferior to Marina. Sorry, Marina. Don't leave us. Oh. We could have Grandma and Grandpa. Or this guy that doesn't look like a real human being. Yeah. Hi there. I'm Yoko Martins. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. 
Alright, now we got two people that are like blatantly too old to be here, so that's cool. Alicia, here's a map of the area. Looks like they've got us surrounded. I was like 50% certain the captain was going to appear to give us these orders. You'll be only be two units out there, and your positions are predetermined. Mm hmm. Fair. Took a long time to draw that arrow. You must reach the destination to the north to escape the perimeter they've set up out there. Hold on, where the fuck was the river in that cutscene? How far away did we get blasted? Due to darkness, you'll be dealing with far more limited visibility than you're accustomed to. You'll have seen no sight line for enemies more than a set distance away and be una unable to see them in action mode. You also don't have access to wireless communication equipment in your tank, meaning no orders. Be careful. Okay, one thing though, right, about the orders. I understand we have to be able to give them to everyone, which is why we have the wireless technology in the tank. But there's only two people here. Could Welkin not just physically say the order to Elysia and it would get the same effect? Alright, ready to start moving? Let's sneak out of their perimeter without being spotted. We're gonna get spotted, just so you're aware. Wow, it's really gotten dark. Hmm. Where has the day star gone? It's become unusually dark outside. I wonder why. Perhaps some manner of eclipse. The lack of light means it's harder to see enemies in the distance, so watch out. How peculiar. Ow! I'll grow up. Is your ankle gonna make it? Oh my god. Sorry. I don't know how much I can run like this. That's all right. You set the pace and I'll follow. Pardon me. Is that sound a mortar? You're just casually sell shelling the wildlife now? Have they spotted us? If they did, their aim sucks. No, their aim is too far off. They're probably trying to scare us out with it. If we're careful, we can predict where they'll fire and steer clear of the target area. There's no way we can do that unless we're clairvoyant. So few turns. My turn, okay? All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. And yet, even with this injury, she moves as fast as a sniper does. Isn't that interesting? What is going on over here, exactly? You didn't see anything. Hey, Welkin, what's that light? Oh, that's a luciferant. It's bioluminescent, the same sort of thing as a firefly. You could just say, firefly, you pretentious fuck. Hey, wait. The luciferant feeds mostly on manure. There could be an animal trail here. Oh, thank goodness, those saved us once before, allegedly. With luck, it might let us sneak past without the enemy spotting us. How? How do you propose the fireflies will do that? Because they've alerted us to the fact that there is a path over here? I could fucking tell that somehow. Ready to go. All right. Hmm. You saw nothing. No one is here. There is some manner of luminescence over here. Found a herb that helps heal injuries. Bring Alicia here to apply it. How convenient! Do I want, do I, does Welkin need to stay here? Well, we'll find out. How close are we to that mortar area? Okay, Welkin's way clear of it. Oh, he's in for it now. He knows not what silent death approaches, except for the fact he apparently knows, somehow. He's got absolutely flawless hearing. He's got 20-20 sight, but in his ears. 
He died so neatly folded. Yes. Do not exclaim that when we are allegedly trying to sneak by. This seems like a bad place to put a mine. Someone will absolutely get murdered trying to cross the bridge, and then the bridge is also going to be gone. Then what will you do? Out. Now, can you make it to Das Flower? Excellent work. Fuck, Welkin does need to be here. That's fair, I suppose. Alicia would not know. Given the fact she is not the huge nerd Welkin is. Damn, that's some loud shuffling. They're like 500 feet away. Hmm, doing circles. Why are there spotlights here? What are they spotting for? Doesn't look like there's a cam. Fantastic. I'm glad that we got to see all this amazing information. I like how it cut the trees down rather than exploding them. Okay, Welkin's gotta go, go back. But he's got proper scout move speed, so no problem. Yo, rub this aloe vera on your ankle. These leaves. Great. This is Ponisera. What's up, Welkin? It's a wild herb that works well on bruises. Just have to grind the stem and leaves down. Alicia, let me put this on your ankle. Good thing I brought my fucking mortar and pastel. It, Never leave home it without it. Stings. But I think it hurts a little less now. That's a fucking fast acting plan. Thank you, Welkin. Okay, let's push on ahead. We might find more Ponisera growing nearby. Wouldn't that be delightful? Finally, Welkin being a huge nerd pays off, however minorly. Alright, where's the mortar at? We can cross the bridge. Are you gonna tell me we shouldn't step in front of that? Because I know this. Searchlights. This is bad news. What do you figure will happen if they see us? What the fuck do you think is gonna happen, Alicia? Do you think they're just gonna bring out a fucking picking it basket and ask us how our day's been going? Because I don't think that's what will happen. They'll radio our location to the mortars and we'll see them land a whole lot closer. Not high on my list of good things. We better keep our heads down out here. I hate everyone. Alright. Good thing this guy doesn't think to check on the bridge with his spotlight. Alright, Alicia, Roger, how far okay? can you move now? Oh my goodness, she's up to stormtrooper levels. However, she still walks agonizingly slowly. I got, Welkin's like, you go first, you set the pace, I'll follow you. And then he just fucking runs away. Alright. Here we go. Hmm. Holy shit, got enough landmines on that one point. Enemy sighted. Now. Let's pretend we didn't see that. Okay, Ty, you don't mention it, I won't mention it either. Look, Ty. If we're gonna keep this thing under wraps, you can't keep doing it. <laughs> uh. 
Why? Are you hungry? So I didn't realize they were gonna actually say something different. Huh? No. I'm just... I wondered if I could use it in a new bread recipe. Okay. Alicia. Here's the thing with that. I would... It would not occur to me to put aloe vera in bread. Granted, it's not exactly the same thing, but... Oh, I see. Well, the flowers have a sweet nectar to them, so it could be good. No, sweet bread is terrible. Uh, you tease me. We're sneaking around the woods and you're thinking of baking bread. Is that teasing? I didn't know. I don't want to hear it, nature boy. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's move on. Hmm, cringed pretty hard at that one. Alright. Looks like I managed to sneak past all right. I wonder if Welkin's almost here. Two things. Welkin's literally 15 feet behind you hiding in some shrubberies. Second off, why would you have split up? What reason would there have been? I just don't understand. Whatever. Alright, you chill there, I guess. This has been rather tedious, actually. I have not cared for this mission particularly. It's just, like, it's legitimately taken about 25 minutes. And not because it's hard, just because it's really long and slow. Also wasn't hard, so I don't know why we had to do this. We should be safe here, at least for a little while. Ah, uh, yes, now that we're 15 feet away from that spotlight, we're in this- we're all clear. Let's look for a spot where we can rest. Right. It's too dark to cover much ground even if we tried. It's honestly not particularly dark. And that was only a fucking bee? How the fuck could you get them there any faster? Fantastic. Like... How? There wasn't a lot of variance there. Who'd build a cottage way out here? Not that I'm complaining or anything. Cottages typically do go in wooded areas. <laughs> wooded cottage hand. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far. Don't oh, worry, healing aloe vera removed its pain in like five minutes. It's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. It just figures you'd know about herbs, Welkin. Welkin knows about, like, literally every boring science thing he could. <laughs> well, this here is called Aloe Severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. Hmm, is that what it's called? Honestly, it looks kind of like a scyther's claw. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. Please do not do something so excruciating. Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. I want... I want out of this situation right now. Alright, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. That is typically what happens when you sprain something. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, he's a huge nerd, for one. Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. The way he rode that tank, mmm, I felt so in touch with nature. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. That sounds terrible. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. Nature's terrible, don't do that. The general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. I guess it's true what they say. Huge nerdness does grow in the family. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the First European War. I don't 
think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. Unsurprising. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. Also unsurprising. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him. That question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Finally, a reasonable statement came from you. Oh, welcome. Okay. What's gonna go on over here? No, you can't hear him. You cannot hear him. He is Alicia, very far. Someone's coming. You can't hear this. It's impossible. No solicitors. Did you not see the sign? Freeze! Are you a zombie? Uh, Woken, what? He's badly wounded. I'm surprised he can even walk. Help me. Welcome. Do something. Oh, we're all going to learn a thing or two about how we're not so different after all. Well, it's no use. The wounds way too deep. It hurts. It's so dark. Oh god, mother. Mother. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Mother's right here. Everything's fine. See? Yes. It's... Wow, that was sudden. <laughs> like, we shot a lot of people, though, just so you're aware. I'm not too torn up over this one. Like, we, like, Vise alone has killed, like, 37 men. He's got over 500 confirmed kills. Graduated top of his class.